Welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Jenny. I'm the owner and founder of Sipping Streams Tea Company. And today I want to cover the topic of the quality of your tea. So if you're like me and you are interested in learning more about tea and knowing where your money goes, I have this amazing episode today where I'm going to be showing you how to tell the different qualities of your tea really easily and simply. So, again, my name is Jenny. I'm the owner and founder of Sipping Streams Tea Company. I'm a certified tea specialist with the Specialty Tea Institute, and I have won 11 international competitions with our teas and with our blends and with actually making like the perfect cup of tea. So, I have some pretty simple things today. Okay. I have a bunch of tall shot glasses. This is a little bit smaller, but it will still work. I have a gram scale, and I also have several different grades of tea here today. I have some generic tea bag teas. I have one of our um, our thousand mile tea in tea bags. It's just one tea bag actually that I have left because it's so popular. And then we also have hot water on the stove. And we also have silver needles white tea, which is very, very different. It has these little points, these, the whole leaves are these little buds or needles. Then we have some hand rolled jasmine pearls, right? And if you're watching, let me know where you're watching from and what kind of questions you have about high quality teas or how to tell the quality of your tea. And then I have some Malphone green tea. This is an organic green tea. And in case you're wondering, I have here two tea bags, generic tea bags. I have one of our sipping streams tea bags. Oh no, I'm actually losing the tea out of it. Anyways, it's the last one we have left at home because my husband loves drinking the thousand mile tea. And um I have three more other loose leaf teas, okay? Different grades of loose leaf tea. So the universal weight of a single cup of tea, about eight ounces of tea, is using 2.5 grams per serving. And we'll teach more about this in our free five-day mini course that will be happening on July 27th. So if you don't know about that, you can sign up today at bit.ly slash five days of tea. You can download the free workbook digitally or in paper, and you can follow along and learn all about the world of tea, the health benefits of tea, quality of tea, how it transforms your life physically, physiologically from the inside out. Hey Marcy, thanks for joining me. Hey Sarah, thanks for joining today. So a really simple thing is if you have some clear cups, and I use these shot glasses, I actually went to work and got them, so that I can show you really simply comparing how the different qualities of tea, the different sizes, the different pargles changes the extraction of it too. Oh, you're watching from Amsterdam. Awesome. Thank you for joining us. So I'm going to switch camera views if you're watching on YouTube or Facebook, and you'll see here. On my gram scale, we already actually at Sipping Streams weigh these out to 2.5 grams per serving. So I'm just going to put the tea leaves straight in there because I already know it's 2.5 grams. And get all of those whole leaf teas in there. So you can see this one is about half full, very fluffy, of white tea, right? And it's 2.5 grams. Then this one is very, very dense. It's our jasmine pearl. It's organic and it's hand rolled. And I'm going to put it in the shot glass here. And you'll see that it's not as much volume as the silver needles, but still the same weight. Then we have a traditional cut of green tea. This is still loose leaf tea, 2.5 grams. I'll put it in there. You'll see it's a little bit fluffier than the jasmine green tea because it's taller in there. I'll stick our tea bag tea, which is probably going to leak a little bit. This is 2.5 grams of our thousand mile tea. 
So just put the whole tea bag in there. And then I have here some generic Chinese tea bags. So I'm gonna weigh that out on my gram scale. And I'm gonna rip open these tea bags. Let's see how many tea bags it actually takes to make a single serving of tea in here. And you'll be able to see the particle size too. So I'm gonna rip open the tea bag. Not quite there yet. And then another tea bag. This is an experiment you might want to try at home. You might be surprised how many tea bags it takes. So two tea bags. Two tea bags. See how fluffy it is compared to our silver needles white tea. It's a little more dense, but you see this. It looks like the same density as our Malphone green tea, but we'll be able to see how well it unfurls. This is with the jasmine, it's very, very dense, very tightly rolled. And then the tea bag of the Thousand Mile, which looks about like the same volume, but they're all about 2.5 grams. Now, we'll put hot water in them, all the same temperature hot water right now. So, Steaming hot water. This would be a very exciting experiment for you to do at home to see the different quality of the tea. Do you notice how the colors change very quickly? Do you notice that? In this one that is a very fine particle size. Now why is that? Well, if, if, if it's really small, the tea is not actually sold by grinding it up. In um, tea factories, they have these machines that shake the tea leaves and they filter them out. So the things that are smaller particles will fall into one bin and a little bit bigger and then a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger. So they shake these machines that sort out the sizes of the particles, and that's how they're sold. So the smaller the particle size, that's kind of like the leftover cutting of a tea. It will have a much quicker extraction rate than these other loose leaf teas that you see in lighter colors. Now granted, this is a, um, a black tea, and this is a black and white tea. So this is a lot darker than this, and then these are green and white tea over here, so have a lighter color. But you see the tea leaves have hardly, especially this one, has hardly expanded at all. It is still in the shape of little balls. I can push them down here, and they stay in their shape still. This one is still kind of tightly rolled. Um, it will kind of expand a little bit, but it's soaked up some water, but it isn't all that dark and the leaves are still tightly twisted. This one is very dark and cloudy. It's like all of the flavor is being extracted really quickly right away. So in coffee or espresso, you have the water dripping through the grounds of the beans. So if you think of ground up tea leaves, which they're not ground up, this is actually left over tea leaves that are sorted and that's why they're the smaller particle size. Most people do not grind up tea leaves unless it's in matcha. So you're having a faster extraction rate just like an espresso, which you don't re-brew your espresso beans or your coffee beans, right? Because there's not much flavor left. So this one with a smaller particle size, you're not going to be able to re-steep up to four times. This green tea, this is still really nice and tightly rolled. And you notice, um, I don't know if you can see here, but it has expanded, but if you look at it carefully, it still has its tight, tight leaves, okay? So you'll be able to see, it's not super swollen. It hasn't taken up all the space yet. Over here, this literally looks like balls of jasmine green tea still. It's still rolled tightly. In fact, when each of these tea leaves finally unfurl after four to five steepings, 
the leaves are actually this long. They're longer than this lasses, and they're all connected together, all hand rolled. Hey, Kat, thank you so much for joining us today for our Instagram on checking out the quality of teas and the truth about tea bags. This is Silver Needles. Silver Needles is a white tea, and it won't really expand anymore um, because it's just the pure buds. They haven't been rolled or anything like that. But you can tell there is some swelling, and it is not super dark yet, but that will still be able to undergo three to four steepings. And so will this um, thousand mile tea, which has expanded very nicely. It's kind of pretty tight in here. So it's not completely unfurled, but you can see that this looks almost like pepper, like ground up pepper. And so very quick way to understand the quality of your tea and the value of your tea is to notice the different qualities with just trying to see how they react in water. If you have really small particle size and you look at it, it's going to be only going to have like one steeping. And the larger the particle size, the more time and tightly rolled it, like the jasmine pearls, like four or five times, that's how many times you can reuse these tea leaves because it just takes that long for all the water to eventually penetrate and go inside the tea leaf. Hey, Sharon, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm so excited for all the people joining us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And then this white tea, it just won't um, unfurl necessarily, but you might be surprised because there are some really good high quality white teas out there and you should try re-steeping them up to four times. But the typical tea that you get in a traditional tea bag Will be like one time and in fact we put two tea bags in here because that's how much it took to make a single serving a technical serving of tea so the best way to know how much tea to use per eight ounces of water or cup of water is to use a gram scale and actually weigh out your tea leaves so we'll teach you more about this more wonderful fascinating things in our sipping streams tea tribe private facebook group especially starting July 27th, when we start the five days of tea transformational challenge, and you need to sign up at bit.ly slash five days of tea, will be a five day mini course, which you can watch the replays through the end of the week until we remove all of the live videos and teachings. So if you can't join us at 8 a.m. Pacific time, but you can join us at night, we'll be watching um, a replay later on. And you can go into our YouTube channel or our private Facebook group, the Sipping Streams Tea Tribe, sign up there, and you get access to this free five day mini course when you sign up at bit.ly slash five days of tea. And I hope you join us there. Let your friends and family know this is absolutely free. It does not cost a single thing other than your time to get in on this amazing information. So join us at the five days of tea, especially. If your friend or family member doesn't have money for a tea course, we normally sell our tea courses at $250 a class. And this is a five day free mini workshop just for you and your friends and family. So sign up today. I hope you join us and check us out at bit.ly slash five days of tea starts July 27th. So sign up today, download your workbook. And if you repost our information about this free five day mini course, you'll be entered to win our summer grill and chill cocktail set. So it's grilling with tea and making tea cocktails with our teas. And we'll mail it to you wherever you are, even if you're in Amsterdam watching this. Whoever wins, no matter where you are in the world, will get that amazing kit. And all I have to do is share this out. So register today so you can share it out with your friends and family. And thank you so much for joining me today.